Hello students, today we will discuss how to solve any problem under isometric view and isometric projection. Our motive of this video is to understand what will be the main difference between these two problems. So in order to understand these two, I have taken same solid, the name of the solid is a rectangular block and in the previous lectures we have discussed how to draw isometric view of a rectangular block so in this video I'm, I will not discuss its procedure because it is already discussed in other videos you can refer those videos if you want to see the procedure so see when we have to draw isometric view of any particular solid then whatever dimensions are given in the problem we have to use same dimensions while drawing means we will use this length as 50 we will draw this length as 40 we will draw this height as 10 millimeters means no calculations are required in isometric view whatever original dimensions are given in the problem we draw those dimensions as it is in the diagram but in isometric projection we need to do the calculations first we call these calculations or these dimensions as isometric dimensions so first of all what we need to do whatever length of the solid is given we have to multiply that length over here 50 is given multiply 50 by 0.82 means we have to reduce the original length by 18 percent so we will get 82% of the actual length so it is 41 mm over here similarly reduce the original width by 18% so for that multiply by 0.82 again so you will get 32.8 which will be 82% of the original width similarly multiply height by 0.82 to get 82% of the original height now when we will draw the diagram or the isometric projection we need to use these isometric dimensions so all these are 82 percent of the original given in the quotient so this we have to understand whenever we have to solve any solid under isometric projection you need to first calculate isometric dimensions by this method so now when you will draw this length you will mark this length equal to 41 mm you will mark this width equal to 32.8 and you will mark you will draw this height 8.2 millimeter but when you have to place the dimensions you will still place the original dimensions means you will write here 40 this is 10 millimeters this is 50 millimeters so this you should understand that whenever you have to solve isometric projection problem then you need to reduce original dimensions by 18 percent so for that you have to multiply by 0.82 to get isometric dimensions which are 82 percent of the original dimensions then use these reduced the dimensions in the drawing but when you have to place the dimensions you will write original dimensions only i hope you have understood how to draw isometric view and isometric projection for any particular solid thank you very much